What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you click that subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to follow the Instagram, that is going to be down here. Uh, me and Dustin came out this morning. We left Fargo around 6.30 this morning, 6.45, and uh, we just got out to a little spot that Dustin fished a few weeks ago here for early ice, but there's a lot more ice now. I would say there's probably, what was there when you just drilled? Probably seven, seven eight inches here. Uh, so a lot more ice than from when Dustin was out here, but we are going to pop some holes here, and I will get back to you guys when we are are getting on some fish. John, your auger's broken. Just kidding. Oh, yep, it was broken. All right, you guys, well, we just got about 10 holes drilled out here, but this is what I am going to be running to start the day off. It is just a clam tungsten. It's blue and green, and then I'm just gonna throw a good old waxy on there. So that's what I'm gonna be running right away, but let's go over to one of these holes and drop the Vexlar down, see if we can catch one. We just uh, hole hopped for about 15 minutes here. We were just getting a bunch of small nibbles, definitely a bunch of small perch down there. Uh, we didn't mark anything else suspended, nothing. They're all just sitting right on the bottom and they just rob your bait or uh, hit your plastic super light. Definitely a bunch of small perch down there. We are going to move though to a different spot and pop some more holes and see if we can find a school of crappie or some walleye or something other than these tiny perch. All right, you guys, well, we were just walking out to one of these points that has a decent amount of structure on it. And we decided to pull the auger out and check the ice. It was getting a little bit thinner. And uh, Dustin decided he was gonna drop his line down and uh, see if he got anything. And this bluegill just came up and destroyed his tungsten. I'm so. just using a little tungsten with some plastics. Oh, Dustin is on another one. <laughs> All right. Yep, we're definitely on, yep. Jesus. I'm gonna reset my pole up and we're gonna get on these things. Stay tuned. I just drilled a hole out deep here and I have, I hooked into a nice fish. Fly, I don't know what it is. Fly. Is it? All right. Northern? Oh, it's a northern. Is it? Well, I hooked into a northern and I'm about to lose a $7 uh, clam. No, it's on the corner of his mouth. Just give me my jig back. Oh, come on. He started doing the roly poly. God dang it. Yep. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Yes! That's what's been doing it. <laughs> yes. All right, well, we have drilled probably 50 holes. We've moved all over this lake. Uh, we've been sticking to one side of the lake and these fish that, I mean, we knew were perch just by the marks and uh, the way they were biting and, well, I wouldn't even say biting, but. So this is what has been messing with us this whole morning so far is these giant, perch but uh we're gonna switch to the other side of the lake we're heading over there right now hopefully we can get on some panfish here uh something other than two inch perch and northerns hey 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 i don't know what this is i mean it's nicer than anything i've hooked into it's either a pike yeah oh it's running it's running a pike or a walleye but it feels like a pike Move the, move the vex, move the vex. If it's a walleye, it's nice, but I'm sure it's a pike or a bass. Or a it could bass. be a bass. It hit it really hard. Northern, dang it. Another Northern guys. This is not ideal today, Dustin. It's probably another Northern. Came up off the bottom out of nowhere, dude. I seen it, it's bigger than the last Northern, if it's a Northern. Not Ooh. Northern, so it's a 
Ooh. Whoa, imagine that. A big walleye? It's a huge walleye. Oh my goodness. Look at the Look at size that. of it. Look That's that a massive walleye. walleye. Okay, let's just put some <sighs> wraps on. Should we? All right, you guys. Well, me and Dustin ended up switching lakes. That last lake, it was just a ton of small perch and northern and they just kept robbing our tungstens and all our lures so we decided to pack it up at about 1 30 and uh we headed over to a different lake it's about 3 30 right now i have the vexilar down and i am marking fish i'm gonna start out running this clam tungsten and i just got a waxy on here right now if we start getting into the fish i'll probably switch to a plastic and see how that works but i'm gonna get my line down here and we will see what happens oh my god We thought we escaped them. Hey, this one's bigger than the last lake though. <laughs> All right, well, we are at this new lake and uh, Dustin just pulled the northern up. It's not a good start. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. That is a fatty. That's my first fish today on a plastic. And that thing is massive. There he is. Decent crappie. That is my first crappie of the day. Not bad. Another one, baby. Decent sized pumpkin seed. There he is. Jeez, they look way smaller on the camera. Oh, that's a better one. For sure. Nice crappie. Here we go. Ooh, feels a little nice. Bad. All right, guys, you got Dustin here. Um, I'm using a little tungsten jig head with a white Maki plastic on here. We're fishing about mm, 13 and a half foot of water. And we got a bunch of suspended marks down there, which is good. Hopefully, they're hungry. There we go. Little bluegill there. That was quick. Ooh. Ooh, no! In the hole, that was a nice crappie. Well, I ended up coming back outside of the shack. I am just going to drop my line back down right now, so hopefully we can get on another nice one. Oh, there we go, baby. That was instant. There's a little nice crappie. Another decent crappie. That one's not quite big enough. I'm gonna put him back. Oh, there we go. That is a tank. Maybe not. It's probably not a tank, but it's a nice sunny. Nice bluegill, nice bluegill. Another decent bluegill. Oh, there he is. Oh, 
pumpkin seed. Another wacky bite to go. Another plasty bites the dust. That one? Hey. Nice bluegill, way bigger than the one Luke keeps flexing, but I'm gonna let it go. Oh God. That feels like a crappie, if you're asking me. Oh my God, and look at that, it is. Good table fare right there. Oh Lord, that's gotta be a 27 inch crappie. That's at least a 27 inch copy, I'm being serious. Sorry guys, Luke doesn't want me to be funny anymore, so now I'm gonna be completely serious and boring. All right, we're just jigging here. We got a couple marks about two feet off the bottom. Oh, here comes one. It's right on my jig here. Let's see if I can get him to bite. Using plastics. Got that white Maki plastic on there. <sighs> Hey, beautiful fish, brother. There's another one. Huh? Oh, stay away from the Vexlar. Oh, come on. Every time. Oh, oh, look. We are hooked up. We are hooked up. Snagged him right in the bottom of the lid. What are you doing that for? Go back down there. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Oof, another pumpkin seed. Oh, yeah. There's so many fish right here, you'd think it's the bottom. Oof, duh. Oh, yeah. Is this one big? It's all right. Another pumpkin seed. See ya. Except for that one. Oh, we are hooked up. We are hooked up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Grow up. That's him. That is him. Another nice fish. And we are hooked up again, baby. <laughs> what happened? There he is, there he is. Come on, baby. Another bluegill? I do have some waxies though. Look at that, hooked up, baby. I couldn't hear you over my drag spooling out from this fat pumpkin seed. Yes. Look at that. Ooh, they're getting hungry now. They are ripping. Crappie, baby. Another one. Oh, that's a small guy. Oh, that thing smoked it. All right. There we go. That might be the last sunny of the night. All right, you guys, well, that is going to wrap this video up. Me and Dustin decided to call it. It slowed down quite a bit here once the sun went down. Uh, the fish pretty much shut off. It was a lot of bluegill, mostly for me here. And uh, Dustin was getting a lot of crappie. He got more crappie than bluegill, but he was using a plastic. I was mostly using wax worms, so live bait. Tonight was definitely better than this morning was. It was definitely a little bit of a switch up. So this morning did not go how we planned. We still caught a few fish. We had a good time. Walked like four miles in total. And then uh, we came out here. Shout out to John from Mindac. He actually put us on this spot tonight. We probably caught 50 fish a piece easily. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, 
yet, make sure you guys do that. And if you like the video, make sure to like it, comment, and I will see you guys on the next video. That was a smoke show, folks. We'll catch you on the next one.